Well, it is Money Monday, and there's been lots of talk about stimulus checks and the buzz about how people are spending that money. It might raise some eyebrows here and there. Our money expert, Kyle Wingfield, joins us now from Finley Alexander Wealth Management. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good, good. I normally don't like to talk about how people spend their money. It's really none of my business. But I have to say, you know, many people, they needed that infusion to help them through these challenging times. But topping the list of the way that people use their stimulus checks, shopping sprees was number one. Um, Two, trying their luck in the market for the first time. And three, stocking up on much needed toilet paper. That's not really on top of the list, but it, it feels like they did because everyone crazy for that. But really, I guess, how do you think that people should be spending their stimulus checks with this, you know, unforeseen little boost that we got? Well, I, I, I'm like you. I don't want anyone telling me how I should spend my money. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to be the, I feel very cautious about how other people should spend their money. I think the, the bigger piece is what, what did COVID teach us, you know, going through that? And that is a lot of people didn't have emergency fund funds built up. I mean, they were living paycheck to paycheck. And so one of the ways you could use the stimulus check is here's some money you weren't really expecting to receive. Why don't you just save? Try it. Let's do that. Let's just save. Yeah. Why do we got to go spend it? Now, you feel like you need to, that's fine. As as you got the check, you're in charge. You do what you want. But I would say you can never have too much money. Save the money. Save it for a rainy day because it might be a rainy week or month. So it's nice to have some money over there. And what have you maintained employment this entire time and you're caught up on your bills? Um, Maybe your savings is okay right now. Would investing probably be another vehicle that you want to do instead of saving and where you're like, ah, you know, I'm I'm already good. I got a little, I got a little aside. Let's see what we can do with this. Well, you know, like everybody, I always refrain from giving people advice. I don't know them. So I don't know. I, you know, I can just say in general, okay, great. You caught up on your bills. First of all, let's back up great, you had steady employment during a time when so many didn't. So you're blessed, that's awesome, okay? Be grateful for that. And then the second piece is, okay, you caught up on your bills, aka paid off some of those debts that were hanging over your head. That's awesome too. So celebrate that win. And now you you got, you built up your emergency fund. So I would say, okay, great. Now you've got this money. What do you want to do? Since you weren't expecting it, you've caught up, you finally feel like you're either right, broke, you're broke even, you're right where you want to be, the pressure's off, no more financial anxiety. This is great. So the question is, what would you do with this money since you don't need it to survive anymore? What would you do? What do you want to do? Is it investing? You want to try your hand at that? Okay. Is it Maybe you want to celebrate the wins. Maybe you should spend some of it. I don't know. But here's the thing. Whatever you do at this moment with that money, it's guilt-free, you know, because you're, you're, you're ahead now. You did you're it. Now. You're, above, yeah. you're above water. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Kyle, you know, we always love talking to you and you love talking to us. So that is helpful. That's why you continue the conversation on Facebook Live after all of these segments. People can find that after this one as well, correct? That's that's right. They can. They can join us on Facebook Live. The other thing is they can always go by our website, familyalexander.com. We have we most likely got a webinar coming up most likely either Tuesday or Thursday. So jump on, join us, become part of the family and learn. Because as my mother would say, you can't learn less. That is true. I like that. I like that phrase. And I'm also on your mailing list. So I get those newsletters and I enjoy them. So I appreciate that, Kyle. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned. 